Good afternoon. Uh, this is my auditions for OnlyFans. Um, I sent them one without makeup. They said they ain't want no problems, and uh, they blocked me. So I'm gonna try it again. Now this is my thing for my HBO special. Um, my name is Miss Kim, and I do comedy every now and then. But you know, I just wanted to do something for the people that follow me on my social media. Um, I put up a stand up on this page already. This is a clean one. I don't cuss anymore, none of that. But I just wanna tell y'all, please let these jokes be jokes. Do not get in your feelings because I am disrespectful to everybody. It ain't just white, black, or whatever. I'm disrespectful to everybody. All right, so I'ma just say this. Um, so we're gonna start off today with the reason why you ought to beat your kids. I seen a little boy that was about four years old that punched his mother in the face 32 times. So my thing was this, you that slow that you let him get 32 punches off. Me, myself, he would have hit me the first time. Uh, I wear a size 12. We would have been praying for him, over him, and about him on that second punch. It would have been no old ball. Listen. I wish my daughter would have, at five or six years old, try to hit me. Okay, well, if you got them hands, you gonna prove it. You ain't gonna prove it just once, because I'm gonna fight you every day till you get 18. Do you understand me? My niece is a nephew. I had a nephew now don't talk to me. He does not talk to me, because he tried to get smart with me when he, when, his, when he was little. Not me, his mama. Uh, my sister for about, he's about five or six, Girl, I picked him up and shook him. Then he got mad and said, and I beat him. And she said, and he said, you know what you did. I said, what I do to you? Oh, you mean whooped you because you was acting up on your mom? Yes, I did, sir. But you know what? That straightened him out that time. That straightened. It only took one time to do that. But um, he like six, seven now, handsome boy. I ain't seen him in years. Um, but he a handsome boy now. Uh, he looked like one of them boys on Bone Thugs and Harmony, the one with the long braids. That's He looks exactly like that right now. But he's younger than him. He looked like him when he was younger. Hell, it might be his father, knowing my sister, because she played too much. Um, Y'all know, too, about picnics. You know when you go on picnics with your family, it's supposed to be a joyous. Well, not in our family. Uh-uh. No way. So let me tell you what's going on in my family. Picnic time is the only time that everybody go to their corners. Because half of us was police, correction officers. The other half was literally um, gangsters. So picnic time, everybody put down their stuff. That was the one day a year that the ones that was correction officers and police wasn't chasing other ones. And really, if we wanted to catch it, we could. But nobody really knew we was can. We kept that a secret. All right, because I work at the prison, and I don't watch two or three of my cousins. And nobody ain't never know, and they ain't say nothing, and I ain't say nothing. They wasn't in no unit I ever worked in, but the only person that did know was the warden. And I said, you want me to put in a report? It's like, girl, ain't nobody messing with that stuff. You don't even know them like that. He knew I didn't know him like that because I had told him about the one um nephew got, well he wasn't my nephew he's my brother's um girlfriend's son um and i said i don't i only seen him once he's like so what and when i worked in the unit with him i i didn't even recognize the sim he wasn't bad like that but you this is what i say about ma you better be careful on him that boy killed somebody he did 13 years got out and killed another person and my thing is this, y'all be letting these murderers in y'all house like it ain't nothing. See, this is the thing about him. Once they start murdering people like that and killing folks, whatever a person do, that's in their blood. Y'all can't figure it out. Yeah, you love him and you want to be nice to him, but as soon as he mad or he wants something, you got, guess what? You next. Um, you have to be very careful with inmates. Everybody don't have the same mentality. They go to jail nice and come out being something different um 
So when I was a SEAL, I didn't really have no problem with them. I had about three prize fights, and then the inmates saw I could fight. That was it. They didn't want no smoke from me at all. No smoke at all. It was over and done. And, um, you know, and the crazy thing about it, it was I was the one that suggested that we put cameras in my unit. They put cameras in the unit, and uh, I had to laugh. The, the warden was like my guy. He was. Um... He, he was a, um, now, he was a, a Jewish gentleman that I really like, Jewish. Um, and, but it, this is the thing that had me rolling. So when he came, the white people didn't want him there because he was Jewish, which I didn't understand at the time. But he was a very small gentleman in stature, but he was not no punk. Understand this. He was the number one warden in the state. They sent him there because he, so many people, I sued him. But I had to laugh. I never sued him. He always, he didn't, this, his gangster was so cold. And I, when I want to tell y'all this, he, this man was like 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. He's little, wore suits all the time. But when he wore that purple shirt, he knew somebody was getting fired that day. So when he would come in with his purple shirt on, everybody would be scared. Not me, because I was in there knocking people out. Like, he asked me. He knew I was doing it. He used to watch the camera and see me dragging him. Because I said, listen, y'all need to put cameras in my unit because they is doing the most. They put the cameras in the unit, and guess what happened? Them animals got worse. They, ripped, they started fighting on the camera to see what they would do about it. They was too scared to do something about it. So they just was fighting all the time. It didn't matter. So if it wasn't a drug-related incident that happened in there, they didn't care. So they just started fighting all the time. Then they got smart. And they knew that if they if it got was a little bit dark and they turned the lights out, they couldn't see nothing. Everything went on. But guess what? 